could I be any more turned on? <laughs> it's the one where they all got back together. Welcome to the Lazarus and Dangerfield Friends Reunion Special. Hello and welcome to the Lazarus and Dangerfield. As always, I'm joined by the man himself, the maestro they call Mr. Clint Dangerfield. I have a quick question. What is Chandler Bing's job? He's a transponster. <laughs> <laughs> a trans transponster. Transponster. First of all, Mr. Clint Dangerfield, what is coming up this week on the Lazarus and Dangerfield show? This week we are looking at female-led comedies. So we have got three absolute crackers for you. Uh, we have got Melissa McCarthy in Spy. The odds of them knowing my face are very low. Miss Crocker, I would really like to do this for fine. I mean, what are you going to do? Bring one of your cats as a sidekick. I don't have any cats. Kristen Wiig. In Bridesmaids. I'm very popular. Oh, I'm sure you are. Very popular. Well, you're an old single loser who's never going to have any friends. You're a little... Uh, and finally, Sandra Bullock in Miss Congeniality. I'm talking about Sweeney Todd back here. What are you doing? Your hair should make a statement. As long as it doesn't say thank you very much for the Country Music Award. Ow! Here you'll be lucky if I can get it untangled. Uh but first... This week, we are looking at the Friends 17-year reunion special. Uh, for anyone that Yay. doesn't know Friends, I don't think that person exists. Certainly not in the Western world anyway. <clears throat> Maybe somewhere in um, the Arctic. In the Arctic, maybe. Yeah. But maybe, maybe yeah, even in the Arctic, a polar the, only, the only channel they can get is Friends. It, you know. It's it's that or Baywatch, isn't it? It's <laughs> or Big know. Bang Theory. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been? It's Jennifer and the Hoff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a show anyway, I watch. Yes. Jennifer and the Hoff. That is a show. So, um, I, I do, you know, we should talk about um, how important Friends is to all of us. Uh, like, uh, First of all, let's just start summarizing the show if you didn't know about the show it's about six people who are friends who sort and, of are all and that's in it. different walks of life and that's it yeah basically, <laughs> basically they come together the and best friends. it finished 17 years ago and all of them um some more than others have gone on to do bigger and better things yep. uh I, you say that actually this show sort of eclipsed them it did i don't think anything that you, jennifer Aniston probably the most notable has had the highest profile career after but i still think but then david schwimmers we remembered as rachel done a lot of stuff as well and lisa kudrow you know we were talking Matt about LeBlanc, we were talking about black and... mirror end of 2020 weren't we and she was yeah. in that and she was great in that so yeah um but yes it was a renew reunion an hbo special that was meant to come out last year uh but due to covid be damned here we are again another thing that's put off till later but was it worth the wait? What do you think? I would say so. We are, I mean, we're from that key demographic of when it, <laughs> of when it came out, we were just, we were in that yeah. age group that it was aimed at. Mm. And that's all we Ish. kind of, Ish. just, just about, just about. But as it yeah. went on, obviously we got flight and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but mm. I mean, ever since, ever since it was on, it, it's just been on constantly. Yeah, no matter, it'll 100%. be on Channel Four or More Four or Comedy Central. It's just it's on every or single Netflix. day or Netflix now. You can't mm. get away from it, and so I, I mean, still they're, have they're, the DVD box set. Oh my God. Can you believe I have the DVD box set still? So that's ridiculous. Just can't part with it. Just showing can't your age. It. It's it's one of those things. Believe it or not, I kind of throw it on the iPad or uh, when I'm flying. It's kind of something, you know, when they give you in-flight food, it's, I've just yeah. found an episode of Friends and I can just have it in the background. But that's and it. Just be in my food. It's, just it's be laughing, that, joking along. It's that classic comedy series that you know really, really well and you know the mm. jokes, and you know what's coming and you can just put it on in the background as just kind of company, you know, isn't it? Phil, if you're doing mm. something, you've just got, you've got something on in the background that you kind of half pay attention to. Um, and that's, But it's still funny. It's still funny. Even, even anyway, watching this special, they go through clips 
They show clips. Well, that's it. anyway. I was going to say the special. So the special. They've all come back together. Yeah. First Talk time they take us through the motions. First time they've been together. Didn't they say all right for? for yeah, 17, all, well, to, all of them together in public. Years. I guess public appearance because mm. they have mm. obviously got together before, but. Um, yeah. yeah, so they, they recreated the sets uh, and then they brought them in kind of one by one. Uh, mm. to meet up well, and, a lot and of just... it was actual from the original set, wasn't it, as well? Yeah. There were certain parts that, because obviously they didn't mention that part, some of them had taken certain things home with them, of course. Why wouldn't yeah. you? You know, um, but the, you know, there was like some uh, panels in the wall or panels in the, uh, basically that signed and like put comments on and they'd managed to obviously sort of rescue them and put it all together yeah. so but it was pretty authentic wasn't it yeah. it was good it was good and i was amazed at how well the majority of them had all aged yeah it's, yeah i mean it shouldn't be about they, but you but you always if it's been a period of time you will always look at someone and they're looking the thing is if this show had been done maybe seven or even ten years ago i think it would have been there would de definitely be calls calls for a definitely a, a movie yeah. i have to say this with that i think now they're sort of at the age where like we we sort of we you know they were asked because obviously the creators of the show marta coffman and crane they were they all um lisa kudrow was asked why hadn't they done a movie and she said well they've tied up their life so nicely why would you want to want to unravel that and the exactly. writers were superb on this but now seeing them would you want to see people in their 50s <laughs> um you know no. do this and they can't play people younger they no. really can't they are looking their age you know they're exactly. a little bit some of their faces are a little bit stiffer aren't they there's a few botox injections botox, yeah. here and there um yeah, yeah. no you, matt I've, perry poor matt perry <laughs> Yeah. He's he's had a tough time uh, throughout his career. Yes, he has. But yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't want to see a movie. I wouldn't want to see mm. another series that would just mm. ruin it. It's yeah. You just well, leave it, it's, leave it's, it as it is. it's too big a risk, isn't it? It's too big a risk to take. It's um, and the thing is, you know, if were, you talk about were, sorry, um, I was just going to say there were kids, say, there were yeah. kids now that are watching it. Yeah, you know they, they weren't alive when it was first on, yeah, and they're exactly. watching it, and they're getting into it and enjoying it, and it just kind of lives on. Because I was going to say, speaking of, and I don't want to say away too much in this, but speaking of TV shows that have sort of died and come back, I, I remember Scrubs, for example, the new, uh, I guess the new recruits, yeah. the new uh, doctors, and it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the original and i didn't mind it and they had some great additions um but it's a bit like the, the jerry spin-off just didn't yeah work. yeah the jerry spin -off. i think the problem was it was it was joey without the rest of them and i yeah. think that's what we're saying with friends it works so well because it was it wasn't about one single character was it it wasn't no. just this is about ross or this is about rachel every person had a part and you know yeah. and they fed uh, off we talk about other. these main yeah and we talk about all the main people that were in it you know you've got matthew perry matt leblanc Dave, david schwimmer lisa kudrow courtney cox and jennifer aniston but it was also all the other uh supporting characters all the bit parts all the people that sort of lent their trade to it and there were so many uh great recurring characters but also so many great cameos John Lovitz, I remember being hilarious. That was an early it? one. <laughs> and there were a lot of lot of celebrities. Yeah, made appearances. Uh, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Uh, yeah. Helen yeah. Hunt. Uh, Brad Pitt was in it. Yeah, Brad Helen Pitt. Hunt. He, um, George Clooney, he was in a very early yeah. one. Tom so, Selleck. Um, yeah. Tom yeah. Selleck, yeah, and just uh, I, and just also notably oh. like they're supporting and uh, Ben Stiller. So, as well. And Stella, again, another great one. And then also like um Hank Azaria. Yeah. And although oh he became God, yes. sort of more permanent permanent fixture, Paul Rudd. Paul, Paul Rudd, Rudd was yeah. brilliant in this. But yeah. when does Paul Rudd ever do anything bad? So exactly. Uh and then uh, oh Reese Witherspoon, Christian Abrogate, we could go on all day actually. <laughs> They've been there have literally been so many numerous ones. Jane Lynch was in it, apparently. John Favreau. 
forgot about him. Oh my god, Remember yes. Went, went out to be a cage yeah. fighter. Um, we're gonna have a lot of yeah. There's a lot of names. You could just Google it. But it's it, these were people that were well established as well. They they didn't need it, but it was just it's such a big part. It became such part a big part of Americana, didn't it? Of culture yeah. and so it transcended uh, just TV. It became one of the most watched shows. But yes, um, oh and Giovanni Rubisi, you know he's back yep. with, uh, from Gone in sixty seconds, and yep. he was hilarious, hilarious. Yep. In this <laughs> couldn't be more uh, different uh but yeah it was just um actually i wanted to talk about because obviously we talk about janice um yeah. played by maggie wheeler who was amazingly annoying but just obviously just brilliant and what she did about bringing that kind of particularly out of chandler bringing in this kind of raw um unfiltered emotion but also i don't know if you heard this week but james michael tyler i was going to say fourth stage terminal cancer yeah. Yeah, Bless which him. is why maybe that I, was why he was on the show. But that's what I was thinking when he wasn't. They had him by mm. like link, and I thought well, there mm. must perhaps he's ill or something. Because yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you wouldn't pass up the opportunity to be part of the reunion. Mm. There has to be something, yeah, quite drastic. Because everything would have been paid for, wouldn't it? everything would have been covered. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, which is that's so, sad. Yeah. But no, uh, I, but yeah, yeah no. It's, thoughts from was, his, him and his family but not family it was family. really good it was really good they did some round table stuff so they they, they picked up that uh, was a couple of scripts awesome um and just sat around the table and kind of uh read out a particular scene which is brilliant and they still did it exactly the same just... way and they were just and, and they still just laughed their heads off That was amazing. I was just yeah. curious how they still had it. Do you know what I mean? I wonder how many times they had to read through it because their reactions looked real. Do you know what I mean? The laughter and it was just like, it was, they were so good at it. You know, it's like they hadn't missed a beat, had they? That's it. Like, what, what amazed me was um, that some of them had watched Friends and some of them hadn't. So I know that mm. you hear uh, like a, a lot of actors don't, apart from like mm. premieres, they don't watch yeah. themselves back. Johnny Depp's famous for um, so. uh But Matt LeBlanc, Jerry, quite mm. regularly watches the program. He he, mm. he says if it, if it's on, he'll just put it on and see what episode it is, yeah. and he finds it interesting to watch. Mm. Uh, whereas David Schwimmer had never seen it up until recently, mm. up until his his kid had started watching it, mm. and he just he started watching it for the first time. And I just, I just think that's amazing that you can do a series as biggest friends for 10 years and you just kind of not see it just not watch it because they're not involved with the editing process mr dangerfield when they have to watch their show back every week and <laughs> over the and over, and over and do the, yeah that is why that is why you learn to live with yourself a that 10 minute episode it. takes yeah. four hours <laughs> so yeah this was so james corden of all the people was the host. presenter for the show the host yeah um he didn't do a bad job he, did he didn't James do a Corden bad job. i'm just not a fan yeah. i'm sure he's no. lovely if no. you if you know him personally i'm sure he's lovely I, I just i'm just not a fan maybe he's one of these guys that'll grow on you like justin bieber do you know how we all kind of hated him and now he's kind of like you know what? i don't mind the bieber but now i became I'm a sure... bieber but that's another, that's another god thing. and that's the end of the uh, of the episode <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's now just the danger field <laughs> show. <laughs> <Fuck who? laughs> um yeah. Anyway, just to be aside. <laughs> Hello, all believers. Um uh yeah, it was uh, I, yeah, we do you know what I found interesting? I know you did. We the the commentaries, the people's the people they interviewed, the people who watched the, the show. Celebrities. And now I particularly found yeah. the the BTS part interesting. So I was familiar with RM who's the leader of BTS. I'm showing my I'm, fanboy now. I'm sorry, in um, case in case uh, in case no one knows who BTS is, who are BTS? I was going to say BTS. What planet are you on? <laughs> are they, they've are they've just been on Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk's rocket and just come back. <laughs> BTS are the biggest boy band currently on the planet. They're a K-pop band. Then there's the Bangtan Boys or BTS. Anyway, BTS, uh, their well, leader. Are you are you saying take that? Aren't the biggest 
boy band no, anymore. Take that. No, no. Um, they, uh, that well, BTS. Uh, well, be, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, RM, the leader of BTS, he basically attributes. So, if you don't know, their English wasn't great. I'm sure it's well, you know, definitely developed now. But RM was the only one at the time when they sort of made it big who could only speak English. And he attributes his English to watching friends in Korea and learning it. And this is a guy, like we said, who's sort of grown up not necessary our, our age group but you know he's still in his 20s but he you know attributed learning mm. his english and helping improve his english and yeah exactly and i think that's a testament to just sort of again how the longevity and uh of this show and how it sort of is is grown to something so much bigger than just a tv show yeah. and i know you had a few notable uh Thing yes to, uh... yeah so they had uh kit harrington of game of thrones mm. thing uh talking about his favorite scene uh which mm. is I, I don't know if, how can anyone not know this scene because it's just been used it's just such a meme now uh of of ross and chandler and rachel trying to get a, a sofa uh up a staircase uh, and the classic line of Ross is going, pivot, 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 pivot. pivot. Uh, <laughs> and just something like just such a, a, as he was explaining, it was like the script. The script's like one page. And there's only yeah. a few lines of dialogue. Um, and that's it. Uh, and, and on paper, mm. it, it's nothing. It doesn't look funny mm. at all. But when you, when you transpose it to an actual scene and just get them just playing that that scene out in, in the way that they do it, it's become just absolutely iconic. It's become one of the most mm. famous memes mm. ever. I mean, how many it's people use hilarious. just yeah. use that one line, that pivot line, in, in just generally everyday life? I think in all house moving, it has to yeah. pivot! And, then, and what I loved is they, they showed a, a behind the scenes, like a bloopers yeah. of, of that, that clip and just how funny the three of them mm. found it. They, 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 they cut the scene and, and they're just laughing. Just, uh, and mm. it just the absurdity of what they're doing uh, um, and, and what Ross is saying. It was just, yeah, it was hilarious. I was going to say, speaking of absurd, to that Beckham featured on it. And he had his favorite episode, which was the one where Ross has a big, um, it's like an award ceremony, and everyone's oh, yeah. sort of getting ready to go out. And he, um, you know, and Chana and Joey are arguing over a chair. And there's a famous thing where Joey comes up. Uh, comes in with all of Chandler's clothes and he's like, could I be you wearing any more clothes? That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? And just what I found interesting about this show, and it wasn't something I learned until later. So if you watch any kind of sitcom, and we always talk about this, how sort of things pay homage to it. So Community did. And, you know, you can talk about Seinfeld and others being the biggest sitcom, Frasier, but I think Friends is just something so much bigger than all of them. And they had this concept where basically when the budget's low or when they're halfway through kind of a series, they have where they film everything entirely in just one set. So they don't deviate from that set. It's called a bottle episode. And it's something I learned from watching the show Community, where basically everything's in a bottle. So they don't move. So when Joey goes to try Chandler's clothes on, you don't see him. He just leaves that room, which is Monica's apartment. And it's just a brilliant way of shooting film. And it's something I, I wasn't necessarily aware of or even aware that happens necessarily in British sitcoms, but it is a very American thing. But it just always works and it just yeah. gets this great laughter. And I appreciate Friends was also filmed in front of a live studio audience. So nowadays we don't get so much canned laughter, but I can imagine that being such a funny show that they wouldn't necessarily need to add that. No, 
No, I don't think they did. And especially as they, they would rewrite the script on the fly. Mm. They tried a joke yeah. and no one found it funny. Right, let's mm. cut that scene, let's rewrite it and let's do it again until we get, get a laugh. And that was interesting when they were talking about jokes, wasn't it? Because obviously mm. we said about Matthew Perry and sort of the roller coaster he's been on. And particularly if you saw the series, how his weight balloon, he was skinny and then he put on so much weight and because he was doing a lot of painkillers. And um, obviously being the funny guy, he had mentioned that sometimes he would, sort of lead joke and it wouldn't get the response he hoped and he said he almost like felt like he died inside yeah you know he just wanted to die in the moment and you know the fact is i said spike milligan peter k john clee some of the most famous comedians have suffered from manic depression because yeah. of this constant need to be funny for one of them you think about john clee's this guy is regarded as one of the greatest comedians ever so um, no, I feel for the guy, but um, it was a great, a, it was a great... on a quick side note to that. There was a Steve Coogan. There was a documentary following like his comedy. He was doing like a yeah. worldwide comedy tour, and it was whilst he was in Australia and just talking about mm. that kind of depression or anxiety. Mm. And like backstage, he would he was just a completely different person, mm. really, really struggling with life and and what he was doing, yeah. and really, really down. But as soon as he walked out onto that stage. It's just a, a light switch and it becomes yeah. all the all the characters and then as soon as he's back off stage even for just mm. changing characters or if he's got to change outfit as soon as he was back off stage it was just complete drop again in, mm. in mood personality and then switch it back and it's yeah it's it's fascinating and i think that. that's why it's probably been the hardest for him to sort of i don't want to say be successful because i watched a few of his shows mm. That he's been he's, in since did some big movies the whole nine yards yeah bruce willis we were yeah we we were talking his uh Bulls identical Russian? hand twin um so he did drama with joey's identical hand twin thomas lennon <laughs> um uh called the odd couple and i found it quite funny it went on for a few series it was a sort of remake of the 60s classic uh but he was essentially just chana yeah. And a lot of his dramas were kind of that. And I think he's, it, the others have been able to sort of adapt and be different people where he's, I guess, been typecast. And I think having to be the funny guy, you know, I don't envy him, but um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think we said, I think we said, you know, I, I, there's, it needs to be we said. said a lot. Yeah. And there's a lot we could say on it. I, it definitely was worth watching. It's, if anything, I would say to anyone, it's worth revisiting friends. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you know, if you know, friends, it's, it's definitely worth watch. Because uh, it is, it is, it, there's a lot of reminiscing. Just quickly, what all time favorite friends clip, clip or friends episode? Oh my God, you're throwing me on that one on the spot. Uh, I know it. I know mine straight away. My... Shall I tell you mine and you can think of yours? You, oh. you tell me yours. So it's basically, I believe it's the last Thanksgiving and they are basically, uh, Joey and Ross went off to a hockey game and uh, Monica, sorry, Phoebe and Rachel went off out as well and they all come back late. And they're basically outside arguing over um, their excuses of why they're late. And we get this great scene of rock, paper, scissors, and Joey's fire, fire beats <laughs> on. But also just um, Joey rips off Ross's pocket. And he's like, we got mugged. And he's like, <laughs> like you rip it. It's just hilarious. We'll say that we were mugged. You can't get mad at someone who's been mugged. Oh, good, that's good. But yeah. you don't look like you were mugged. No. Uh, yeah. And then they put their heads through the door and Joey gets his head oh, stuck. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it's just great. It just makes for great comedy. It's the turkey based stuff. Yeah, and they're stop putting stuff down Joey's pants and oh it's just hilarious. He's like floating heads. Uh, it was, it's definitely my all time favourite episode. What about yourself? Um all time I uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I keep getting clips from different episodes pop into my head uh, yeah. that just make me just crease out. I don't know about favourite episodes, but certainly favourite clips. Uh, there are a couple there's when, and they did this in the in the reunion, where Ross is moving into the apartment kind of opposite yeah. Monica's yeah. and Phoebe and 
Rachel seed Monica and Chandler in the window getting on and Ross doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, and they they both get really excited and, and and I'm not going to do the scream, but just Ross does this really kind of girly screaming Whee! jump. <laughs> it just yeah. that gets me every time. Uh, actually, it looks really good. No! Uh, and there's there's another one. I can't, it must be one of the early series. I think Chandler comes home and Joey's Joey and Ross have built a fort out of cardboard boxes. Yeah. And Joey yeah. just kind of stands up, looking completely guilty and caught in the act. Uh, and it, th that just kind of makes me laugh. Don't you think the cowboy hat's a little much? Come on, it's fun. <laughs> All right. I think that's around season doing? five. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, I mean, but yeah, when Ross doesn't have a job, basically. Yeah. So. And they've just put the sport. He's like, Do you want to come on in? <laughs> uh, but anyway, but so that's it. it. That's it for the Friends at Reunion special. Go check it out. Go watch. Go laugh. And go reminisce. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of when the next video is up. And we will see you next time. Any final thoughts? Mr. Yes. Holiday Armadillo. If, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on favourite Friends episodes. Definitely, we want to know what you guys loved as well. I comments. know! It was very good. <laughs>